So let's see how we will do this. For example, taking statins, statins have lipid lowering effects which affect cholesterol synthesis in the liver and elsewhere as well, leading to its two prevalent side effects. and contraindications. Also, bile acid sequestrants have lipid lowering effects in addition to other properties which are proposed to explain or clarify its side effects as we will see now and contraindications. as well as drug-drug interactions. In this video, we will discuss two classes of drugs which act to lower cholesterol. Statins will be an example of lipid-lowering therapy which acts on endogenous lipid metabolism, while bile acid sequestrants will be also an example of cholesterol lipid lowering therapy but acts on exogenous lipid metabolism. Now starting with statins, we will go through efficacy and safety to hopefully understand side effects, contraindications, drug-drug interactions very easily and also go through their management very accurately. Okay, so first, the expected LDL reduction of low intensity statins is about 30%, moderate intensity statin from 30 to 50%, and high intensity statin about above 50%. Statins reduce mortality, they have a mortality benefit, and therefore can be used as monotherapy. Unlike ezetimib, bile acid sequestrants, and PCSK9 inhibitors. Next, statins inhibit the formation of the precursor or the rate limiting step of cholesterol synthesis by inhibiting its formation from blood glucose and fats. Now, to the side effects and contraindications and drug interactions, we can directly go through them but it becomes much easier when we understand it first. We will give the brief titles and then go into details. Statins affect the lipid composition of hepatocyte membranes. In the full lecture, we will see how this is a hepatic reaction and not hepatotoxicity. But anyway, this is the reason behind the side effect hepatic reaction, and the contraindication, which is active liver disease or unexplained persistent elevation of liver function tests three times above the normal limit. A similar concept applies to the second prevalent side effect, which is myopathy. Statins block the synthesis of coenzyme Q10, which is thought to be involved with the pathogenesis of statin-induced myopathy. Okay, so how to manage these side effects and drug interactions? Regarding hepatic reaction, in cases of liver function test elevation, three times above the upper normal limit, you will need to counsel the patient to refer to the physician so that he can decide whether any of these actions will be needed. Okay, what about myopathy? In case of intolerant muscle symptoms with creatine kinase elevations, so far there is limited evidence about the benefit from coenzyme Q10 supplementation. Therefore, you will need to counsel your patient to refer to his phys physician in order to decide to take any of these actions. Now we are done with the most two prevalent side effects of statins. Now with the drug interactions. 
Drugs that increase the concentration of statins will increase the risk of myopathy of the patient. Therefore, if a cytochrome 2C9 inhibitor is used, those reduction of statin will need to be considered by the physician. While if a 3A4 inhibitor is used, those limitation of statins is needed. Details with examples about these two concepts of management, which are dose limitation and dose adjustment, are found in the concepts playlist in videos 2, 3, and 4 on this channel. Also, details about drug-drug interactions with other drugs where statins increase the concentration of narrow therapeutic index drugs will be discussed in the full lecture.